Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia Darlene for those of you that are new. Most likely you're following my pregnancy journey because you are also pregnant. I've been doing these weekly pregnancy updates starting from week six all the way until whenever I deliver. So if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. You can also turn the notification bell and you can get notified every single time I come out with a new video. I've been coming out with a new video every single week because I'm going, like I said, weekly pregnancy updates. And I also make a bunch of videos all about toddler and baby. So just like some pretty exciting stuff if that is your thing. You can totally like and subscribe, like I said, to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. This week, we're gonna talk about week 32 in our pregnancy. So if that's you, we're gonna talk about how baby is changing and developing and how mama is also feeling. I know it's gonna get a little bit harder in this last trimester. I don't know about you, but for me, I'm definitely feeling it. Week 32 is your eighth month and your third trimester. So we're almost there, there's only eight more weeks to go or sooner if you deliver before 40 weeks, then you'll deliver sooner than that. But we can kind of see the finish line almost there. So just some encouragement just to keep on going. We're so, so close. So let's get into this video. Like I said, we're just gonna talk about how baby is changing and developing and then how also just some symptoms that mama is feeling that's pretty normal. As you can tell, shortness of breath is one of them because I'm huffing and puffing because I cannot seem to catch my breath sometimes. You know, just your organs are just super squished in there just because, you know, you're growing a tiny human being and uh, it's completely normal. But just as you can tell in my videos, if I'm short of breath, that's why, because I'm super pregnant. And if you're watching this, you probably are too, and you can totally understand where I'm coming from. But yeah, so let's get into the video. Just quickly, I always mention that me and my husband are able to stay home. We don't have to go work right now, which is super awesome. We're able to work from home. So if you want more info on that, that'll be the first link in the description below. And you can, you know, just check that out, click that link, sign up for the emails, and you'll get some info on that if that's your thing. Okay, so like I said, week 32, you're in your eighth month, you only have one more month to go, and you're in your third trimester. So this week, baby is the size of a cantaloupe, which means baby is about 16 to 17 inches long and about three and a half to four pounds. So right now, week 32, baby is just squirming and moving a lot. They're just kind of running out of space in there. There's still lots of room for them to grow, but you can definitely feel every single movement that they're going through. And your baby is pretty much in a curled up tight position right now. Your baby is most likely turned head down. Um, if not, like I said in my other videos, there's still plenty of time for them to turn. So hopefully they do start heading that way. Some babies don't even turn head down until right before delivery. So you have plenty of time and there's plenty of things to do like exercises and things like that that you can research if your baby is breached to help baby turn head down. So pretty exciting this week. All of baby's organs are fully formed. So if you had baby at this week, there's nothing you have to worry about. Their chance of survival is very, very good because like I said, all the organs in your baby are completely fully formed right now at this week. Okay, so let's talk about mama, some of the mama symptoms that you're going through. One of them is going to be weight gain. So of course you've been gaining weight this whole entire time, but just know that it's really normal if you've gained at least three to four pounds just this month. You're packing on a lot of weight for you and for baby. So you're gaining about a pound a week from here on out, and about half of that is gonna go towards baby. So this week your body will probably start to prep for delivery for the big day. So you might start to feel some tightening and some hardening in your stomach area, your groin area, your back. Some of those stuff is gonna be more Braxton Hicks. So if you have like the tightening in your stomach and it gets really, really hard, like rock hard, and then it kind of goes away, uh, that's gonna be more of the Braxton Hicks contractions. I feel like I get those all the time where my stomach will just get really hard 
and then it'll go away. Okay, so to accommodate your baby's needs, your blood volume has actually increased from 40 to 50%, and your uterus is pushing up near your diaphragm and crowding your stomach, so that means you're gonna be dealing with shortness of breath, and heartburn. So what you can do is some simple stretches that really will help you alleviate that pain and that shortness of breath if that's something you're experiencing. You can do, um, like I said, just some like yoga stretches. You can look up prenatal stretches. You can also see a chiropractor. That's I pretty much I've been seeing a chiropractor when I was pregnant or found out I was pregnant. You know, I told him right away. And so he's been working with me with just doing some simple stretches and some pelvic exercises too. So I highly recommend to see a chiropractor if you know of one. You can definitely start to see one if you're new to one too. Right now I live in New Mexico and I see this super awesome chiropractor. So if you want his info, I can definitely send it to you if you live in my area because I would not see anybody else and he makes a huge, huge difference. So I definitely recommend seeing a chiropractor even if it's not something that you are used to or if it's something that you don't think you need just to feel adjusted you know for you and baby is going to be huge not only to make your pregnancy more comfortable but also to make your delivery a little bit more prepped so you're getting a little bit more ready for that so another good topic to start researching is going to be early labor signs this week if you're like me i've been researching the labor, like early labor signs forever. I had my first daughter at week 37, and so I know that this baby can come pretty soon if he wants to come soon. So I've been researching early labor signs. So that pretty much includes like cramping, menstrual-like cramps, water breaking of course, vaginal bleeding or a discharge that pretty much looks different, diarrhea is another one, and then just that constant tightening in your uterus like we talked about. Um, I made a video just specifically on like the top nine signs of labor. So you can check out that also. I'll let that one, I filmed that one last week so you can look up that one too and check it out and just uh, start to be aware of the signs of preterm labor. So that pretty much wraps up week 32. I know we covered a lot of this week. Next week we'll go over, I think I go over 33 and 34. But yeah, so this week was just week 32. I hope it's well to you. I hope that your week is gonna go well. And like I said, you're in your eighth month, so you only have one more month to go. And I hope that you and baby are doing well and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you then.